Hey yo, what's up guys? You've got lightning here back at you with another video. This time we are versing the one and only Satan, Timo himself in the top lane. Runes and Master is on the screen for you. Um, now with this lane, Doran Shield start pref preferably um, using the level 1 strategy. Uh, normally just start Q, um, sit in the bush and wait for wait for Timo to um, come into lane. Then, hang on, let me just get rid of this. Okay, so Timo is going to push the wave generally, uh, level one, and I just normally use, sit in the bush, um, use, try and use my Q to get what CS I can. He's naturally going to push you in um, simply because you can't really attack the CS unless he, um, you know, because he's going to just start attacking you for free, right? Especially level one when you've got no, uh, you can't stun him or anything like that, right? You can't fight him. So I'm just getting what CS I can right here. The idea is to try and let the wave uh, not hit my tower, because if it does, I have to sit around. I have to sit around my tower area to get the the creeps that will be here, right? So I've had no choice but to let him push me in. It hasn't pushed in too hard, like it's gonna um, correct itself soon. But see, I missed a CS there. He can just sit around and blind me forever. So I want to try and keep the wave around this area here, right? Around if I can. I don't want the tower. I don't want the wave to like sort of go here um, in my tower. If he if he perma pushes me in, I either need a gank, or I need to. Well, I just don't want to be pushed into the tower. I, if I don't get a gank, I'm fucked. I, I need to. He can just keep pushing me in. I then need to just try and fast push the wave as fast as I can, and then, and then back in TP. Or otherwise, yeah, get get someone to gank. Otherwise, I'm just going to be perma pushed in, and uh, he's just going to be able to um, poke me down. And eventually I won't be able to get the CS under the tower, right? So keeping the wave around here as much as I can. I'm trying to get rid of these as fast as possible so my, my casters push up. And then get rid of this me melee right here. So then keep the wave around here, okay? And now Jax is on his way. So Timo's flash, we've got his flash already. And the flash. Okay. First kill on Timo. Jax did a really good job at coming top level 3, um, at, the, at a good time when Timo was really pushed in and I was able to go in and, and get a stun um, to initiate the gank, right? So that's put me ahead already, if we look at the gold, right? Um, so I'm on 1400, 1500, and he's on 1000, okay? And what did he buy from that? He bought an amp home, <clears throat> and I'm going to buy quite a lot more than what he got, right? So he's had to TP back to lane straight away, and from my first back, uh, to his amp tome, I got. What do I get? Where do I buy? Okay, so I got a magic. I got a um, null magic and a um, dagger. So with this start, I'm, I'm rushing a wit's end. Um, if we look at the team comp, okay, so you got Timo, you got Gragas. So that's the that's the double AP threat in the top lane. The the top laner and the jungler is the AP threat, double AP threat. Then you got the Vladimir, who's the AP threat in the mid lane, and then more. Okay, all AP, and then Sivo is obviously the AD threat, the only AD threat on the team. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, I did this really badly. I stayed in his minions, and even though we killed Timo, I still go down here um, just simply because I had no minions left, and I had a whole wave of minions attacking me. You know, minions. That's just a perfect example of how much damage the minions actually can do to you, uh, especially early early in the game. You know, before level six, before you get any tanky items. The minions absolutely just punish you, okay? So that's just um, one thing to look out for, you know, you don't, really don't want to be fighting in minions. But the good thing from that gank, right, the wave was pushing to me anyway. Even though I died to Teemo, that's not ideal obviously, but he has no TP and I was able to TP straight back to lane. I told the jungler to leave the wave because I, I wanted all that farm. And now Teemo loses heaps, right? He's, I'm 10 CS ahead and he's, he's still walking back to lane. Where is he? He's at his tier 2 tower. So he's not going to be here for another 15 seconds, and by that time he's going to lose all that. So I'm just going to take this advantage and get all the CS that I can, uh, while he can't, while he can't uh, harass me, right? So I want to try and thin the wave out and keep it around here, like I'm doing. Thin this out. Eventually I'll, I'll kill this cannon minion after he gets rid of one of my minions. Um, well, it doesn't matter now because the wave's actually pushed up, so I can get rid of this cannon minion now and just try and keep the wave around this area but obviously when I'm in a situation where especially level 6 when I can all in this guy I got hit by a shroom that was unfortunate but I took the all in because he just came back to lane and if I can deny him even more XP um, 
then I, I really want to, you know. So I found a really good opportunity just to go on, on straight, straight up go on him, get as much damage off as possible, um, make him concede the level 6, you know, lane. And now he has to back. I think he's back already. Yeah, so he's backing at his tower now, and he's got to walk back to lane. So he just missed two waves, and this will be... This is the fourth wave, I think, that would have come since then. Two minutes, yeah. Okay, so the third or fourth wave, and he's probably... He might get that. So he missed two and a half to three waves, I guess. And... So that puts him behind so much. See how far ahead I am in CS now? Just because I was able to for, um, trade the kill, save my TP, and then... And then force him out of lane again. He's hit, he's just totally fucked his lane because now now he's forced to farm under tower, and I can back. And he can't. What's he? What can he do? He's got to use his, use his shroom to farm all this. Uh, he didn't have to use his shroom. He could have just um, taken a bit more damage on the tower, and you know got all the CS. But that's okay. <coughs> so now I'm coming back to lane. I'm coming back to lane with the recurve bow, and I've got the negatron oh, negatron negatron cloak. My English uh, is bad on Sundays. And I get the refillable just to give me some extra sustain, um, just in case I make a mistake. Which I do, you know, I'm human, and um, everyone's human. Uh, I'll fast forward this for you guys, just so we don't waste any time. So back to lane. Um, I'm stronger than Timo at the moment. Um, <clears throat> and I've gone rushing that wood scene, you know. So once I get the wood scene, I'm going to be really strong. I'm going to get a lot of flaming from... Um, <laughs> Um, Aurelia mains because I'm rushing what's end. Everyone hates it when I when I say what's end is a good item, but um, <laughs> hey, you know, it's all good, whatever, right? I, I just love what's end. I think it's a great item, especially in in the situation where that I'm in now. Um, I just I just love what's end. You know, um, if if the Gragas ganks, I've got that extra magic resist. Not to mention I can steal the magic resist. Um, I guess it makes my ego a bit more damage, you know. So. <clears throat> um, I, I just like it, especially versus like a Teemo, I just, I just love it, because um, it just makes me feel less oppressed in the lane, and once once I get it, I just feel like I can all in a, like a Teemo anytime I want, right, because of the on hit, and if he rushes like um, any sort of armor, it just negates that totally, and it just gives me the opportunity to, um, you know, not die, not die to, to Teemo shrooms and shit like that, and especially because they have a Gragas and a Vlad that can run to top lane, um, having that extra MR, just see I've got the wood scene complete now, it gives me 40 MR and 40 on hit magic damage and your, your basic attacks steal, okay, they steal 5 magic resist, so it stacks up to 5 times, so you, st you steal 25 magic resist from them, so effectively fully stacked this item gives 65 magic resist, man, that's, that's fucking crazy, man, 65 magic resist, like, like at level 8, you know? It's, it's so good, you know. I mean, I'll, I'll agree that it does fall off um, late game. But the idea, that's why you buy it early, you know. You buy it early and then get better items later that are going to scale into the late game. <clears throat> I mean, I could have... Since I did get the ganks, I feel like I could have gone Triforce. But um, so there was always the threat of the Gragas and the Vladimir, right? So... Yeah, that's just that's just my reasoning behind Wood's End. I mean, a lot of people are going to disagree with me. I know shitloads of people are going to hate me for like buying Wood's End, but that's just my reasoning reasoning on you know why I would buy Wood's End and like especially in the situation here, right? Um. Anyway, I've talked enough about Wood's End. Let's focus on the lane, okay? So now now that I'm ahead, you know, I'm double his CS. Um. He's going for a Leandris. He's got the haunting guys already. Well, not already. He's he's, he's quite behind. But see. Since he's so behind on items, I can just keep killing him, really. Um, I look for the all-ins whenever I can. And I feel like if Gragas comes top, I don't think they can kill me. Um, especially just then, I did have my flash up. And if he was able, if he was to body slam me or something, I feel like I could just flash away if I if I needed to. But I really want to pressure the Teemo. I don't want to give him any more free farming. I want to just pressure the tower as much as I can. Because I want to get the first tower, right? I want to roam. And since their mid and half their bot lane has, you know, is magic, is AP damage, magic damage, um, <clears throat> my MR is going to come in handy, you know, I'm going to be able to gank those lanes and um, roam with my team really effectively and not, not die too often, or not die very easily. Um, I shouldn't have gone for this trade, I should have just backed off, to be honest. I mean, if Teemo was somehow in, oh, so he's in, what the hell, he's taking ages, oh, maybe the death time was quite long. 
But I should have just gone and tried, and tried to push this in a bit faster instead of trying to trade with the Gregor skill. So anyway, now we look at the gold. So I'm on 4,900, basically 5,000. I'm 2k ahead of Teemo. 2k, man. 2k ahead at 12 minutes. That's crazy, man. It's like half a freaking... Half an infinity edge. More than half an infinity edge, you know? Um... And so at this point, you know, he's 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 working towards his Leandris, but since Leandris has a really a really weird build path, he's 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 gonna he's struggling to save up the gold that he needs to actually complete the item. So it's gonna be a while until he's actually strong. So again, just shoving in the wave, ma making him use all of his shrooms um, just to clear the wave on the tower. He's got no choice really. I mean, what else? What else can he do? He, he he can't fight me. He has no choice but to just sort of use the shrooms to delay, um, to delay me taking the tower. I'm I'm slowly getting it down, but I'm so far ahead that I I just go and um, go on the tower and then go on Timo. Uh, what I did, um, I'll show you what I have. Okay. So you see here, he makes a mistake and he blinds me when I'm not attacking him. I'm attacking the tower and he didn't respect the damage that I have and the, how far ahead I am so after the blind duration wears off I just go straight on stun him and then go straight on he flashes um, doesn't really matter so that's a mistake on his part by using the blind in a situation where he didn't have to he should only be blinding me if I'm gonna be auto attacking him or if he's poking me down if he has the lead right so um, big mistake on his part and you know, I, I, I noticed noticed that mistake and then took advantage of it straight away. And from that we get the tower. No one can stop us from getting the tower now. So a 30 minute um, tower. And also notice like my... Um, oh shit. My bot lane's doing pretty good too, you know, they're, they're trying to push as well. So I get the first tower. And we look at the gold again. 6,500 to 3,400. Now I'm 3,000 ahead of Timo. You see how it snowballed, snowballs just keep snowballing? That's why it's called a snowball, right? So it started off as being 500 ahead of Timo after the first kill. And after he um, lost a couple of waves, then it was up to 1500, I think. And then it went up to 2000. And now it's 3000 that he's behind by. He's so far behind. Um, and I can just keep my storm of snowball going now. Especially since um, all of their teamers, you know, Timo, Gragas, Vlad. You know the three main threats that I'm going to be dealing with are all AP, right? And see how it's only 14. See how it's only 14 minutes into the game. I've already got my Triforce and my Wits End. Uh, we go for a TP play here. We're so strong right now. Like the the damage is going to come out to see. Oh, she's got deleted. I uh, misplayed the Q. Unfortunately. But see how the major resource is coming in handy by so much. It's so valuable because all the threats around here are magic damage, right? <clears throat> Except the Sivir. That's why I'm trying to kill the Sivir. I, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't die here. That's why I was sort of being a bit greedy in this team fight. But unfortunately, um, the only goes down. And then I'm able to take out everyone else. Just like that. And that's basically down to, you know, I have. The, all of the stacks on my on my on my wits end, <clears throat> so that no one can really kill me as such. Like um, me in the team fights, my my resistances are really valuable. But just because I've um, I've held, they're almost all AP. Um, that's a mistake going on. This this is bad. Um, that's just all that is just greed. And <clears throat> I guess um, well, yeah, it's just greed. Getting cocky and greedy. Going for the kill, getting the kill, and she shuts me down for, you know, quite a lot of gold. So it's not ideal. Now she's, you know, caught up and she's... Now she's caught up and she's almost even in gold with the djinn. Um, so I, I sort of made his lane a little bit harder by doing that, but... I'm pretty sure at the stage of the game, where I have... Um, <clears throat> Eight and a half thousand gold to Timo's four and a half thousand gold. So now I'm four K ahead of Timo. Um that I can actually make a difference and carry this game. Okay. So I'll fast forward this. What am I doing here? So now I'm just split pushing. Um I do I don't have TP up, so split pushing even oh, yeah, split pushing isn't really I guess the right call. I I do want my team to uh, 
um, to group with me since I have all the gold. But see how strong I am? Like, I just deleted that Gragas. And then the mistake here um, is actually re engaging on this fight. Just standing in Vlad's ult, like. Yeah, so I get Teemo and I go down. So not ideal, um, I, I was hoping the team could sort of pressure a bit more with, with three top, but look at Heimerdinger, he's doing some work man, he's doing his best to try and push down this tower, because he can see three top here, so he's noticed that there's no threats in his lane, so he, he's free to just, you know, keep perma pushing uh, into this tower, it's just creating, creating pressure, because, you know, these guys can't back off to save this tower, otherwise these guys will get the bot tower, so either way, you know, we're creating more pressure. This guy's creating pressure. I created the pressure up here, bringing three of the team top. Heimerdinger saw that, and then, you know, pushed the mid lane. And then my team... Oh, these guys are just constantly pressuring this tower here. Okay. So now we're back up. <clears throat> Going for the Hex Drinker. Going for a full, um, you know, MR build to try and stay as relevant as I can. Um, when they have so much magic damage, I feel like it's just really good to, to get these magic resist items and... And, and you know, um, and make them so valuable that um, in the team fights, you know, you're not taking barely any damage from them. Okay, uh, I'm trying to go help this Leona here. I was trying to joke these guys with the the morgue bind. <laughs> the morgue walks out of the bush. I don't know why I should walk that way, but. So it's just, that's an easy double kill, you know, that's just free. Just just because of how far ahead I am in the in the game. Um, that's just so free, right? So where are we now? Let's see what I do now. Obviously I want to push and get the tower, help my team. You can see my team is um pr pressuring mid. So at the moment, you know, like Timo's basically irrelevant in this game. He's one in seven. He's got five point two K gold. I'm on eleven thousand gold. So I'm five and a half K gold. Look at the Gragas man. <laughs> I'm just so, I'm just such a big threat that he, he doesn't know how to deal with me at the moment, right? Because I'm so all over the place with my um, damage and my mobility. You know, he's not too sure how to, how to handle it, I think. This here is just greed. This is so greed. And, uh, you know, Jin had to use his heal to save me. I probably would have died. And I didn't even get anything out of it. Like, like, what was the point in me diving there just then? There wasn't much point at all. It's more about... Um, just being greedy and cocky, testing the damage, um, just to see if you can dive, you know? And it's, it's, if you want to climb, uh, it's never a good thing to do that. Okay, Jin's, uh, missed. I drop aggro, then I go back in. So J Jax is still taking aggro, so I'm, I'm afraid to just go back in on that fight. Juggling aggro is a huge thing, you'll notice that in, like, higher reload, the higher you get, the more people will start diving you at tower and, you know, juggling aggro and things like that. This Gragas should just back off. I don't know what he's doing. He shouldn't really... <laughs> he doesn't... I mean, I might be low, but he can't kill me. You know, not when I have... Not when I have... 64 major resist. That's pretty good. You're gonna just live, holy shit. So we should, we're overstaying right now. We should, be, we should really be backing the fuck off, getting out of there. <laughs> Greg is trying to get, get the kill still. Okay, so that's over. Um, we'll see what happens next. So I go back to top lane. Getting more CS, constantly creating uh, like more pressure. Because I'm so, f I'm so fucking strong. Like 12 and a half gold. So I'm still, you know, double Teemo's gold, about 6k ahead. His Shroom does, you know, next to no damage to me because he's so far behind. Um, they have to answer this, obviously, because if they don't, I'm just going to get that tower. I take quite a bit of damage there, um, unfortunately. And, you know, my team, one of my teammates died for that. So I just, I decided to run. I, ha I, th I feel like I just have to run at that point. Where Homing is really pushing, pu pressuring this tower, this lane here. I don't think Timo could actually kill the engine. Although, yeah, the engine goes for the... Oh, sorry, that's so fast. He's a result. So he should be backing off. He's a bit, um... I don't know how strong he is. Uh, oh, he's got two items at uh, 23. He's, so he's in line with sort of what you'd expect. He's ahead of the Sivir anyway. Um, or, and, and the Timo, not to mention. Although we probably shouldn't uh, be in there by himself being an to carry. 
and I'm just constantly pressuring top. Got my TP available, got my blue buff. Um, so I'm, I'm ready to go, right? So I've got my, finished my more. Now I'm going for, I think it was a Spirit Visage. Just even more mega resistant health. Not to mention the, um, um, the uh, spell vent you get, you know. Unfortunately, I go down there to Sivir. Um, not ideal, but um, I was hoping my team could sort of pressure this tower a bit. With Teemo bot and three top, um, yeah, I would have thought, um, what's Jax doing? He's running away, it looks like. Yeah, I just, I don't know, I just, I would have, maybe it, went, maybe it was the wrong time to split push. I think I was probably uh, a bit, a bit too ahead of myself there when I was split pushing at that moment. Um, but uh, yeah, I would have hoped my team could sort of pressure this tower a bit more, especially, you know, they've got a couple, they got three down now. Um, it looks like they'll get it anyway, but I thought it would go a little bit uh, smoother than that. Maybe, I think I was a bit too ahead in the split push. Maybe I should have, um, you know, waited for my team to sort of group mid and then really start the push. But that's fine, that's just, that's just my fault, you know. And that's just things you got to think about and take on board. Things like that do happen. Uh, where am I now? Oh shit, I TP here. So I TP'd right into the middle of them. That was just a smart ass cocky move. And um, it's something that you wouldn't normally do, but in this situation where, you know, I'm so strong, I've got my spirit bizarre, I've got a shit of natural resist. Um, the only time I can really die is if I <clears throat> try to dive people under tower, I don't have any armor. Uh, and, and soon, maybe not soon, but... And once Silver gets sort of three items, she'll be able to start to really fucking chunk me. So I've got to watch out for that too. My next item should be like a GA or, GA or, or something like that. But we're so, if you look at the gold at the top, you know, that they're on 40k, we're on 56k. Um, so it's, it's, it's a matter of us being so far ahead that we shouldn't really lose this game. I mean, I don't, I don't think there's any way we could really lose. We're just, I'm just trying to like rotate and get the towers as we... You know, as as we're pushing in mid, get the in, mid and hip, rotate, get the top one. It's just the safest way to win a game. So that's what we're trying to do. Gragas goes down here. There's no way he can, he can stand up to us in the tower. And then three of them come here. Uh, then the rest of the team, the owner and the gin are pushing down from bot. So we've got all the waves pushing in. So at this point, they've, they've got three threats of uh, supplements pushing into them. Um, Jin's just using his ult to push them off, I think. Uh, we want to clear these out, clear the, clear the mid ones out, and clear the bot ones out as fast as we can, just to create that much more pressure, so these super minions can push in and do their job. They do clear them pretty quick with the Teemo Shroom, not to mention Siva is really, really good at wave clear. What did she buy? She bought... Oh, she went Phantom Dancer. So her, so her wave clear could be better, but I mean, it's still good. Um, with her W and Q, um, three, you know, three auto attacks with her W and her Q, she clears a wave pretty well, so... I guess the best the best option here is just Baron. Get the Baron and then go for the win. I think that's what we do. I mean, at this point, there's nothing much to really say about the game. It's it's more about, um, you know, just playing by the tip, playing by the book, and um, you know, rotating the different lanes, getting the towers, and then and then just doing the Baron. That's the most obvious thing to do. Uh, I'm going for red buff. Um, that's just a great thing. He almost did it. I mean, Heimendinger Dinger can solo Baron uh, once he gets a few items and the right items. Um, I don't think he had enough items to really do it. Uh, I think. Oh, he could have. He probably needed one more tanky item, and then he would have been out of solo Baron probably. So where are we at? Yeah. So now we've got it. Um, me and the Jacks are sitting in the bush. We're waiting for someone to walk past, but I don't think they do because they're so behind. Just waiting, waiting, waiting. Three hours later. <laughs> yeah, so he, he, he gets impatient and fucks off. And this is, that's not what you want to do if you're trying to climb. If you're trying to climb, you'd, you'd be in there pressuring, um, getting the Baron minion on every lane. Baron minion, Baron minion, and then Baron minion again. And then they can't really stop that anymore. I'm right in the middle of the fight, just trying to soak up all the damage, get in front of everyone, because I have all the major resistance. I have 250 major resistance. So, you know, it makes it really hard for them to actually damage me, so I'm just trying to soak up and be in, in the front as much as I can. Don't let the Gragas get on my gin. And then when he goes in, um, you know, I can just jump on him. The Vlad has to back off with his pull, he can't return the damage, and then we just jump on that and carry him. 
So you know that's that's just a standard Timo game I guess. You know I got I did get lucky with those ganks at the start from you know my jungle actually listening to me, which is really good. Um, but with a Timo lane, I mean if you're if you're struggling with it, you just got to understand that you know um, you do outscale them, and if you build to the to the matchup, um, it makes it really easy. Like I just went for Wits End um, just to win the matchup, and also their team was you know heavy AP. So that's why I felt Wits End was a really good buy, and it definitely paid off. It made me really, really strong, and it meant that I didn't have to invest in a Bork, um, you know, other life steal or or not so much life steal, but other attack speed items. So especially in this matchup with Teemo, where I don't run twenty eight percent attack speed, um, I was running, you know, Flat Magic and then AD and the and the attack speed. Um, so yeah, I feel like it's a good buy in this situation, but. Um, the rest of the build was primarily focused on the AP side of the game. Um, obviously going for that more, getting that lifeline passive, and then the Spirit Visage later on. And that just meant I can soak up all that damage, you know. So the the later stage of the of, the, of this game sort of, you know, spoke for itself. It's pretty textbook, pretty standard, right? Um, but yeah, just in the lane, that's I think that's the hardest part about the matchup. In a matchup where you outscale someone, um, it's really easy to just sort of play safe, let them do their thing, don't die to them, you know, and then, and then fuck them later. But in this case with Teemo, um, you know, he's always vulnerable. He can get really, really oppressive and strong if you let him, but if you don't let him, then he, he's just useless, right? So, um, that's what me and the jungler sort of aim to do this game. Um, the jungler helped me out a lot in the early levels, obviously, but if you don't get ganked, if you don't get jungle ganks, you can always, um, you can always rush the magic resist and, you know, get a free fillable as well. Um, along with like a Doran's Blade if you need to and just get get past the laning phase right and then go straight into like a Triforce with your phage get extra health if you need to um, you can even I mean it wouldn't be ideal but you could even get like a Spectre's Cowl or something if you if you really felt you needed to I, I feel like with Teemo you you can always fight him you just gotta not get poked down um, before you're able to get the minions and go on him right but anyway guys um, I'll leave it at that for now uh, thanks for watching the video. If you've got any questions about it, just leave them in the comments. I'll try and answer them. I never really struggle against Teemo, so hopefully I can answer any questions you may have about the matchup. But I'll leave you guys there for now, and um, hopefully catch you guys in the next video. Yeah.